Assalamu alaikum. So today I'm going to bring you an example of one of my students that I worked with for over a year. But what we did, we built depth. So a lot of times when it comes to memorizing, learning Quran, what people do, they try to get from A to Z. My kid started Quran, I want him to finish Quran. Finish, 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 finish. No. What I recommend and what I do with my students instead is build depth. And I'll tell you exactly why. You see, the aim of learning Quran is not so you can finish it. What are you going to do after you finish? What, are you going to open up a stall and start selling uh, lemon juice? No, the aim is not to finish it. The aim is to perfect it, to master it. Like the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught to Sahaba and like he was taught through the angel Jibreel. That's the aim. A lot of people, when they learn Quran, they completely, they completely forget the fact that this Quran has to be, should be recited in a certain way. And I get a lot of people contacting me after finishing Quran. Oh, I read an entire Quran, but I didn't learn it with Tajweed. Oh, I learned the entire Quran, but hold on, I saw your TikTok video, you were explaining something about Alif and Ya, and I didn't know the difference. You see? So, what does it mean to build in depth. I'll tell you exactly. And I'll show you an example inshallah ta'ala of Zakaria. You're gonna watch the video till the end so you can see what he is capable of doing. And I'll tell you exactly what it means. Building depth means that every time you read a word in Quran, you understand why you're reading in a certain way. And if you read it wrong, you, someone stop you and tell you there's a mistake. You're able to identify a mistake real quick. You're able to analyze as you are reading Quran, you're able to analyze full mouth, letters, whispering, that's when it comes to the Tajweed, yeah? All these little things, you're able to understand them, analyze them, try to implement them yourself. And that's what I want to do with my students. So we work six months on Qaeda, <clears throat> which is spelling. We work six months on Tajweed, and following that, inshallah ta'ala, student is more than capable of explaining, uh, correcting someone, he's able to recite on his own, more independent and all I have to do as a teacher I have to chillax, I have to lean back and chill and then let the student inshallah ta'ala make fast progress. Get your student, get your child to build some depth in Quran. Get him to understand words, letters, what is he reading, whatever he's reading and in a certain way. Get him to understand that inshallah ta'ala. Now watch the career and let me know what you guys think later on in the comments. Will you be able to spell this word for me for free? <coughs> Now, may I ask you, although this word is al qariatu why do we read it as al qariya Because the ta becomes a ha because it's a ta and because it's at the end of the word. Very good. So ta marbuta has a rule, it becomes ha when we when we stop at it. Yeah. And okay, al qari'ahu. No? Al qari'ah. Very good. Very good. Very good. That's important. So it becomes silent. Now is that the rule for everything that is uh, in the in the in the Quran? So every time we stop at a letter. Uh, not all the letters I don't think. No, I mean, every time we stop at, at the end of a verse, does it become oh, silent? Yeah, it becomes silent. Okay. So look at that. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So we call this Zach rules. Uh, Zachariah is producing his rules. Zach rules. <laughs> All right. Al Qariya. Now, may I ask, someone read this as Al Qariya. Correct them, please. Don't tell them you're wrong, you're bad, get out of here. Let's be nice, huh? Oh, this is a full mouth letter. Read Al Qariya. Very good. Al Qariya meant to whisper, supposed to whisper. Ta. Oh, ha. Okay. Oh, which becomes ha. Okay. Al Qariya. So, whispering letters, only, they only whisper when they're silent. Okay. Now, as a punishment for answering wrong, I'm gonna force you to. <laughs> yeah. So, look at Nasr. Nasr course. I would like you to go over this course again. Okay. Right, so, you just. Your mind is clear about what's whispering. Whispering letters only with spell on this side. Let's try to spell this particular ayah. There are two different words here. Okay, 
It's two separate words, so we're going to spell them separately. Sorry, Okay, although these are two separate words, and this is ma and this is al when we read them together, how do we read them? Mel Okay, interesting. What what changing when we when we read them together? What will change? What is changing? Hamza, Hamza, and the and Hamza and the leaf gets skipped, and the time becomes a hara and silent. Very good. Important. So here, very good. This will be skipped, and ta becomes ha, becomes silent as well. So will it be malqari like that? No, it will be malqari. Ah, uh, it will be malqari. Yeah, malqari. That's yes. okay. So we're skipping this as well. Uh, yeah. Alif goes straight to sukun malqari. Call this a okay. magnet rule. Call it the magnet rule. So when we have other silent letters like this one, uh, but we have a letter with sukun, so straight away fatha goes with the letter that has sukun. Yeah. Yeah. Now we have one. Two, three, four words. Rather than spelling them, I would like you to read these words one at a time. You're reading them as separate words. So you can only, so only spell them in your mind. Hmm. <laughs> So that's that's you reading it as a first. I want you to read it as separate words. So one word at a time. And then al qariya Very good. Now if you read them all together. Very good, very good. Once again, same ruling happening. We're skipping this, we're skipping this. Okay, and this becoming. Um, do, do we have a bouncing letter here? Yeah, uh, the Very good. That is becoming a bouncing letter. Now, the rest of the rulings, we already went over them. How long should we stretch this mud? Okay, this is a hands and half to get. Very good. Oh, you're still there? Wow, I'm surprised. Well, you must be serious. If you want to build depth in your Quran, if you want to build depth in your Quran recitation, consider joining our Zoom Madrasa. I'm going to leave the link in the description. We have beginners program, intermediate program. Remember, don't come to me and want to change your recitation in two weeks or one month. I want depth, inshallah ta'ala. I'll see you then.